to over here as he releases his rib cage. It's in our last video. It's imperative he's releasing the tissues stuck into the rib cage so he can allow his lungs to expand and allow his diaphragm to expand a lot better as he's always comprehensively pulling his body into a hunch position on top of all the intensities he puts himself through and the damage he may receive into those areas you know, from punches and kicks and stuff. Those areas can get really tacked down and tight. And the last thing you want to do is have them so tight that when you go to move out of a position, you pull something or, you know, in a more extreme case, you rupture something and like break a rib or you know, strain or tear some muscles in there. So it's imperative to releasing those tissue issues. Not only that, it'll actually help release some of the hip tightness because they're correlated and attached. So getting into a and a roller such as this Ryan Unity Lifestyle roller and just scraping the tissues of said attachments there. Joey, try to rotate your body from side to side so you're gonna rotate your shoulders back this way up and then you're gonna rotate them up towards your chest. You can help alleviate some of that tension. Now us just simply doing mobility drills isn't enough. You gotta keep in mind that over a period of time he's been into these tissues, compressing them, holding them nice and tight for a period of time. So just simply getting into mobility drills won't ex expand those tissues or allow them to relax. If anything, it would cause more discomfort. So we have to release them first. It's kind of the cycle that we go through. It's always a release technique first, because again, he comes in off the street with some of these problems, and as he's walking, that's impactful. And then he would go into some mobility drills. With practice, he can get through these all in 10 minutes. So definitely something you want to add as an athlete, and especially as a fighter, to help your body recover.